I'm Dylan Radigan. I've interviewed nearly every CEO and most world leaders during the past 25 years. And now I'm bootstrapping. I'm turning my attention to the new CEOs and the irrepressible entrepreneurs leading the next generation of innovation in the world. Welcome back to Tasty Live. I am Dylan Radigan, and it is time for another episode of Bootstrapping. Our guest today, Sue Choi Andrews, co-founder and CEO of a company called Mondu Inc. Nice to see you, Sue. Nice to see you too, Dylan. I'm super excited to share with you about cybersecurity. Yeah, I mean, I got to tell you, cybersecurity is not at the top of my list of most interesting and exciting topics. And I don't think it's on the top of anybody's list unless they have either a regulatory reason why they must pay attention to it, or uh, unless they have personally experienced a hacking that caused them to have mortal risk of a of a of an insecure situation and so but you, your your business solves that your 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 what you're selling is a, a solution or a a security solution that that's right and so it, it, especially with the world of uh this new world of ai that we're coming into right um i think people forget that the biggest reason hackers get in and the biggest reason why their service disrupt disruptions is because of something basic like misconfigurations and vulnerabilities that haven't been addressed in any way, shape, or form. And we're here to solve that. And those misconfigurations are a function of just the history of time of the building of a company and different developers in different places. It's sort of like, yeah, uh, you know, first you renovate the kitchen, then you renovate the bathroom, and then the plumbing. <laughs> it's sort of like, is, is that what I mean? Even with Twitter, they were talking about how the programming at Twitter is it's, it's iterative, so it's a constant. That That's right. And what's happening, too, is, I mean, you're probably renovating because things are getting old. And for these large companies with the issues that you've just talked about, um, they're developers and are bringing in new technology. And uh, with the advent of remote work, you, you're opening up a lot of different new SaaS services that you also need to secure that you actually don't even own. So it's become um, a mixture of yes, it, it is that renovation. You're saying problem. because I'm paying, a, I, I, I'm a bank, let's say, with a regular with a high threshold for security, and I have my internal security, but I also have software as a service that I that I yeah. provide that I that I basically use to service my clients where I'm renting other people's software. That's right. That's right. And so, and it becomes, it's just compounded. Yeah, so yeah. you've got to have security for the old stuff, for the new stuff, and then also for the things that you are renting. And that's what Mondu specializes in. And we call it extensible security posture management. Because what's happened is like, you say you want to um, bring in Slack. And great, we're going to start using Slack. Well, now I need to figure out how to secure Slack and how to make sure that people have the right level of, um, of privilege to see certain things. Um, and then I need to also secure my cloud. So I have AWS. Oh, this team wants to use uh, Google GKE. So now I need to secure that. And what's happened in the marketplace is that CISOs and organizations have bought all of these small tools to cover a small use case. And it becomes a security nightmare when you're trying to understand your entire security posture management of everything. And that's what we want to do. So, so what Mondu do you do? Is, yeah. Mondu is security posture management for everything. And we call it extensible security posture management. And we focus in on vulnerabilities and misconfigurations because that's how attackers really get in. Um, and so you, we cover everything from SaaS to your cloud to uh, runtime, build time. So we are the one platform that gives visibility, uh, not just to the CISO, but to everyone that's involved with security. So that is even your developers, your platform engineering teams, your security operations teams, your security engineers, and also your auditors. So, so, so again, I just, because I want to understand this, so let's say I have a company I'm using Microsoft Dynamics because it's a factory and I'm shipping things all over the world and it's a, but it's a factory situation. And then I have a Dynamics dashboard or it could be SAP or whoever does all those huge systems. Yeah. Your your is Mondu a dashboard basically on my dashboard that is evaluating my and then it's showing me 
you know, this. We're actually, is- we're actually scanning all of that and where you can do that um, with an agent or without an agent and it pulls that data in. So you have a holistic view of everything that's on your factory floor in that situation. But then also not just what's on your factory floor, the laptops that your employees are using, the laptops your contractors could potentially be using, the servers that do any of the calculations um, uh, behind that. So that's really what we do. So in other words, if I signed a Mondu contract and I was a, I'm just, I'll use the factory example for now, Mondu would come in and basically take an inventory of every, like, I've got a a, a, Q, a, a Q-sip on my boxes of widgets that I make in my factory, whatever, you know, from the from the actual widgets to the humans yeah. or the tablets we, we cover, that may have yeah. tablets on the floor to run the machines. And then like, and then you, it basically becomes a security database of every node that's related to the company. That's right. Now the widget example is interesting because we won't, we don't do like, Hey, I just manufactured printers and I want to see where this printer is tracked. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but what we would do is like, okay, so what is the operating system or what IoT devices that you have out there that are actually going to the manufacturing process that's watching it, um, that's you know doing different readings per se, and then uh, feed that back into the Mondu platform. You said something interesting before we started the interview, which was that people only care about security if they have to, basically, either, either from a regulatory standpoint or because they've suffered a, a personal um, experience as a business w- w- with it. Does okay. that mean you don't even bother trying to sell it to people that, like, in, other, in other words, would you even take a sales meeting with someone who either wasn't highly regulated or wasn't, didn't have a personal history? Did you, have you abandoned trying to convince people you got to do this and you just wait until after they have their trauma and then they just come <laughs> groveling to you? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, we don't want to have people in that situation, right? Like our mission is actually to make security more accessible And the issue with security currently is that you have to be so tall to actually be secure. And how do we help people um, push through that barrier? Um, It's interesting. I think that we've talked to so many startups. I can't even tell you about security. And when it comes down to it, for them, they honestly black out when we start talking about security and why you need it. It just seems really far removed. Um, And in and then we've uh, we've negotiated over four million ransomware um, uh, hostage you know, ransomware. Release, data, data yeah. hostage release. Yeah, I mean, I, there's no like, there's a new term that that's out there that um, it's clogging my mind for a second. But we've negotiated four million dollars worth of ransoms from ransomware gangs, and what we found is that they they don't necessarily attack startups because startups don't have money in the sense of they they're looking for people that they can hit year after year and for startups it's just a one-time thing and they usually don't have money and they're not going to be around potentially in the following year for them to renew (laughs) their their ransom again so until we see something that happens where there's a large scale attack that's publicized against smaller startups in the universe, I really don't think that security is top of mind. For them, they're trying to find product market fit. They're trying to move super fast. And when we say security, aside from blacking out, they associate security with slowing them down. Slowing down. We definitely want to change that. Mm-hmm. And we change that because we have an extensible language that we call MQL, which is the Mondo query language, that first does an asset inventory because you got to know what you have first. And that's what and I was thinking about. The inventory fact, seems daunting. Yeah. On the, the, the inventory sounds like a lot of time. I'm just saying as a startup, you're like, I'm not going to take any security inventory right now. I have to sell my widget you know, or whatever. You know, I've got to license my thing. Um, so then who is your t- target customer? My target customer are people who are have been hacked or are in highly regulated industries like healthcare, um, deep tech, manufacturing, financial institutions, all of that. I would love to to tap, to talk to Mondu about them because we do have a really unique approach to pull all of those teams together. Because and, security and, cannot do it alone anymore. And and, they, and Mondu is a, is a, is a service. You're, it's a fee for you that you're basically charging 
recurring, I, I presume. Yes, absolutely. And it's a subscription-based model that we're trying to um, make sure that it we're valuable to our end customers. So um, we also... I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. it, it, it so, I mean, is the world is the world capacity. more secure? Is the world more secure now, or then, less? Like, in other words, is is the trend in global cybersecurity in terms of the risk over in in your even anecdotally, if you look at whatever your perception? Oh, of- I think it's a, it's a completely it's it's much higher now than what it was 10, 15 years ago. I think people forget that you know, new technologies lifts everyone. And that includes the bad guys, like innovations in our, our industry, isn't just like in one little pocket, it spreads. And just because you're one of the the good folks doesn't mean that you are going to be okay. So basically, the the power to do harm is higher than it has ever been. The same way the Absolutely. power to do good is higher than it's ever been because of where we are with Web3 and AI and blah, 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 blah. But the point is, in your case, the power to do harm is higher than it has ever been. Absolutely. And um, I think that the gangs have done an amazing job of uh, putting on a, a capitalist hat and they see it as a money making machine. Uh, yes, there are the high profile targets and we got to watch um, and we still do like watch what happened with Uber and it's all unfolding in real time. But a lot of their business are smaller that they attack and they, and they consider it and they have revenue targets. They have territories, they have playbooks and it is a business. It is, we really have to get away from the myth that it's just like, you know, a loner (laughs) in a basement with a laptop. Yeah, it's it's really not. I mean, there is those cases. Don't get me wrong. And I think it's been glorified in the media. You have like war games and, you know, hackers and most recently with, you know, Mr. Robot. So what's happening now? I mean, it's it's almost like you you have in your mind that you're sort of helpless because all of these cyber criminals are have banded together and they've made like the super group of super cyber <laughs> criminals. When the case is, it's a lot of people in an office space hacking away um, at at their account lists with like playbook. a professional organization yeah. with a, with like you it said, with a hierarchy yeah. and a and a HR department and all the things. I mean, it's a job. It's a it's a career. It is a job. It is a career. I mean, they have chat support once they do get in. Uh, they have customer service. They have renewals because they give you time to make more money. Right. And they have their their targets. I mean, they're they're scanning for, oh, these people made 10 million this year. I can ask for 10% of that. I'll negotiate down to three. And that's my quota for this quarter. I mean, that's good rhetoric for your sales pitch. Sounds horrifying. It sounds like it is horrifying. (laughs) It is horrifying, but what we have to do is one is get our ducks in order. And how are they coming in? And it's it's misconfigurations and vulnerabilities and those can be solved and they're not solved now because of this technical and complex landscape which everyone lives in and we're we're hoping to like abstract away all of that complexity and put it into one platform so you can actually you offer some sort of a guarantee or assurance to a customer that if they use your system that they're not going to get hacked i mean what what is your promise uh, we don't have a promise like that. Um, that that would be great, but there's no way that I would ever get business insurance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if and I so tried to get something like that. Your promise is best in class, lowest probability. Best in class. It's actually a great platform to bring in not just security, but get your developers, DevOps, and platform teams into the security process and make it as seamless as possible and automate the heck out of security. Got it. Um, Suchoy Andrews, Mondu is the company. Well said, well presented. It, it, it sounds uh, um, like something I don't want. I don't want. It's like the doctor. I don't want to go to the doctor, but I got to go to the doctor. You know, you don't want to talk about security, but you got to have security. Uh, Mondu is you the company. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Uh, that's going to do it for bootstrapping. I'm Dylan Radigan. More tasty live right after this.